Yo, what's up guys? So the season ends in two days and I recently switched a bind and I've been practicing it there for like two or three days now. So I'm still not fully used to it, but I'm gonna be trying to play some ranked games with it for today. So basically I moved my air roll right from a square to R1. So that's a pretty big change for me. It was pretty difficult to, to play. I played before, not many players probably could do it to be honest. Uh, I would reach for my square button very awkwardly. Um, so yeah, that's a pretty big change that I made recently and hopefully it's one that'll pay off long term. And that's the only reason why I do it, something like that, is if I feel like there's a genu genuine uh, long-term payoff for it. So hopefully you guys will see some of that begin to spring into action. Uh, it just makes things a little bit more accessible, a little bit easier, a little bit more consistent, and a little bit more easy on my wrist and my thumb. Because <laughs> my thumb was doing a lot of work before. My thumb had to do a lot, to say the least. It was doing X square, circle, and triangle all by itself. Just my thumb, so. Most uh, control layouts, most setups, have it so that like one finger is pressing each button, basically. My other hand uh, wasn't quite like that. I just got used to using arrow, uh, arrow right on my square pretty early on. And my square is now my, um, my scoreboard, so you can see what I'm actually mispressing. That's the cool thing about this channel, though. I feel like throughout my career, I've always kind of documented what I've been what I've been doing for you guys and the changes I make. And you guys got to see me go for someone that wasn't professional, but was definitely at that level, capable at the beginning. And all the things I changed, all the things I was learning, uh, all the ways my gameplay evolved. Right. So this is like another another step in that. So I decided to share with you guys, um, even though it's going to be a difficult one for sure to to get used to. I just see like. An insane amount of uh, reason to do it, so. I should have this. Yeah, the one thing that I've noticed so far is I've just been like... Um, ah, that's tough. You may push up a little close and then the other, other guy basically just full speeded into the ball. And he did not expect that to happen. One thing I've noticed so far though is that with like after I get a flip reset, much easier to get control of a situation after that. So like this situation right here. And I got that was the top corner flick by the way off of that. You would never know because they saved it, but like just an example of uh something I could do now a lot easier. Um So yeah. There's very very good positives to it and very, very few negatives to it, so Something that I just need to keep practicing at. And I think it'll definitely, definitely pay off. Anyway, we'll try to focus on the gameplay now. One touch here to myself. He's gonna go quick on this. That's what he's done this whole game. Kind of just full speed in a straight line. The ball's there, he's going for it. Makes you have to not too much thinking. Have an idea of what he's doing most of the time. Good first half of the game though. Sweaty matchup here. S5 Cosmic on our team is a very solid player. He's a really good ones player. Top ones player in NA. Don't have much. I'm gonna pass them here actually instead of going for the shot. I don't have a, a way to shoot that quick enough. It was a really good double demo, but there's no way it could be capitalized on individually at least. Played over two. Try to just be annoying. Try to force this play to be a little bit quicker forward. The Cosmic's a good ones player, so he should be pretty confident in that position. I actually did not think he'd get a good touch on that, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it looked really sketched the way he jumped at it. Should have played it more passive, but I had no faith in him, and that was where my mistake was. But that often happens in ranks for me. Because you'll have 90% of the game where people are just missing the ball, and then the other 10% where they actually hit it, and it's very, very difficult to be ready for that 10%. Let's force this touch, get this boost, pass back. Yeah, it'll probably take like a, about a week to feel like super comfortable, but the fact that I can even just like play on this new bind and just feel like I can pretty easily keep up and then like I'm not even that used to it, but I see the like, crazy benefits. I've scored some really good goals already with it. I had a double flip reset, like top corner musty, like insane, insane shot, like one of the first games I played with it. So I beat him here to my teammate. 
Shot, try. He's in a cut. Yeah, he's done the same thing the whole game, actually. He just, he's near the ball, he's going. There's no fakes. Almost ever. Let's hit it again. Interesting, because that's a really big part of uh, Rock League these days, is throwing in your fake challenges. He's gonna insta go, yeah. They're also just cutting out plays really early, so they haven't had many opportunities to get high into the air. They're doing a good job of that. First touch. Play it over to my teammate's side. Still have some time to deal with this. A little bit of panic, but it's fine. He still has a 50. Alright. <laughs> he didn't expect the shot to be like low like that. Honestly, didn't want it to be that low anyway, so it, it works out. I mean, a lot of randomness happens in, uh, in high level ranks, man. It's very hard to expect half the stuff to happen, to be honest. I'll try to go for a shot here. Damn, I'll try to place it behind him. It's really good save. Nice. Good job. Didn't get too many good opportunities to use like arrow right or get a good air dribble because the way they were playing, they're actually cutting things out really early. And that happens. That actually happens a lot in twos now because everyone knows the biggest threat is when someone's in the air and the biggest threat is when someone has a flip, right? So they try to cut that out as early as possible. Like hammy crackers was full speeding every single ball. Um, it's very difficult when someone's playing like that. Extremely difficult to, to create a play and actually have time to do something like that. But. We did well regardless, created a good opportunity. He's almost up a thousand points, pretty solid. Let's get into the next game, see if we keep it up. Back to my dubs, Let's see how it goes. All right, for some reason the queue took forever. It literally took like 10 minutes and we got the exact same match. Don't really get that, but all good. Let me go quick here. If he beats me, it's fine, I get the bump. This should be really good for him. Yes. The whole goal there to get him off the solo play. If you can get the ball, it's good. If you can get the bump, it's honestly even better because your teammate usually gets the ball for free. Getting the ball and winning it forward there doesn't really get you too much. Usually, so like a lot of pros, their focus isn't even to win the ball forward off the challenge. It's usually just to get the ball to either die. Um, to get the ball to either die and go completely stationary or to get the ball to go backwards for your team. Because usually the teammate behind you and not just straight across or not in front of you. Usually you have a third man. When you're challenging, it's usually because you're the first person. There's someone behind you, right? Right back wall. Ah, that's awkward. Some of my teammate would go for me. It's okay, he knew, yeah, he knew. It's fine. Whoever's back wall should always stay. Whoever's on the ground should go. Because if he goes there, he's forced to get it around the ground guy. If the ground guy never goes, and both players are useless, basically. But the ground guy goes, he's forced to get it over the ground guy, which gives the back ball guy just a free touch usually. Or he has to beat him left or right, and if he beats him left or right, there's no longer a threat. I'm gonna go all the way back here. It's fine, next touch is gonna be big. Play the beat. How do you get this middle? I can quite. I'm gonna play it back here. Dodge the bump well. Again, he doesn't actually have an angle here. It's a pretty much peak to get an angle on that. Kind of just AFK to be honest. Go up the wall here if I can. Probably get a dunk, maybe. But honestly, the bounce was really bad for me on the start, but didn't end up being too bad. The ball like randomly comes out like that, it's a little bit unfortunate, but it's fine. Good save from him. So just bump him off this, make some spin out, just down. We have some good pressure here in the fake here. Teammate's gonna be first. Take a quick shot. Both panic should be equal. Nice. It's a really good shot there. A lot of power. Very deadly, very deadly. Take this boost. I'll just block him. Can't quite. Good job to get over the first guy though. Basically all we needed to do there. 
If you're over the first, it's more than enough. I'll challenge my teammate like I was saying here. If he gets it over me, it doesn't really matter. If I can get it, it's also fine. But usually he's positioning for me not to get that ball. Usually, because it is pretty difficult to challenge those and actually get a touch on it. Let him hit this. I wanted the boost. The pass is really good. Teammate didn't want to go, which is fair. Nice. That's a really good follow-up challenge. Take a few pads here because the touch isn't going to be too great. Challenging first. Nice. Do you see how easy that is when he actually challenges for me? As long as someone's going. That's all, that's all it is. You just need someone just to go. When it's a threat. Right here, we don't need anyone going yet. I actually might get a goal. I don't know if I score. Probably not. Oh my god. I actually got faked so hard when I was going for that. One of the directions where you're playing the miss, but you don't actually expect the miss. So I was saying, that's why ranked is so difficult, man. You never know. You would never think that's, that something like that would help you, but in this game, it's so helpful to... Um, just randomly like make a mistake like that, especially when you're used to playing people that just don't make that mistake ever. Just so much time on that save. Should I take my time here? Back wall. Oh, I was really hoping at the bump. The bump there would have been huge. To make it a free ball on the wall and full boost. Pretty good situation. Try to challenge for him. It's fine. Bumped him off of it. Should have this. How many boosts? Might be okay. That's actually a really good bump from him. If I get this boost, it's huge. Kind of kills their offense. Get a touch out. Teammate should touch right, maybe, if you can. Got some, some back foot touch. Actually, would have been pretty good, but it was difficult. It's fine. Bumped him off again. So as long as I get the ball or a bump, it's fine. Always what you should be going for. Nice for my teammate. Should be a goal. <laughs> nice. Yeah, all twos is, is always going to be challenging, man. Something that these guys are actually doing really well. Like, he just challenged, like, same thing. He bumped me off that ball, right? I have a really good opportunity, he just bumps me off of it. As long as you're challenging correctly, like he just did there, there's no time. There's no time to really create anything. So the goal's going to come from a mistake or an overcommit, like they just did right there. Somehow, somehow it gets back. I don't know how to boost, though. But yeah. Good games for today. Very nice. But yeah, I'm just gonna get more and more comfortable with this. Whenever I like like I said, it was like two days on a new bind after using the same stuff for like thousands of hours. Um but in free play it's much easier to like you know obviously use a new bind like this because you're not gonna have any pressure, no one challenging you, complete freedom, and you can go for the most insane stuff over and over again. But in reality, it's not going to happen in twos. You can't do that over and over again. You're going to get maybe one or two attempts a game to go for something that actually utilizes it properly. But either way, like the fact that I still am getting used to it and I see great results. I've beaten tons of pros in the last like two days just using it. So it's uh, it's really good. It's really good. I'm very confident going forward that this is the right the right thing to do for sure. So hopefully you guys will start to see some nice clips and stuff like that and, and RLCS and et cetera with the, some of the new stuff I can actually do with this. So basically I could technically do everything the same before, but it's just, it was just a little more difficult. So for example, if I'd get a flip, uh, the way my vines were before, I have to be holding X while using air roll left. So if I have a flip reset, I have to use free roll after a flip reset. So using that is just really difficult to like actually get like a, unpredictable touch after the fact i could do it almost every time but it's more like i would get the flip and then i have to this is normal air roll i have to just free air roll and then i can use the flip right but the thing is it's very linear so wherever you start your your aerial is usually where it's going to end up but the other way if you recover out of it with this you have a lot of options a lot of like a lot of unpredictability like there's a lot of different things you can do you can already see the difference like I can see how I like recover out of it. See all the little things you can do. It looks a lot different, right? Ends up, I can shoot right, I can shoot left, I can go for a musty lane. I can do a bunch of different things and I'm still not comfortable. This is me not comfortable at all. 
on this. Like I'm not even, not even 5% comfortable on this and I can do all this stuff, right? But the thing is, in, um, in a game, like you don't have that time, like you don't have this level of time. So it's gonna be, um, also pogos are way easier. <laughs> That's something I've been messing with too. It's gonna be interesting to see once I can actually like get fully comfortable with this, the things that I'll be able to, um, to accomplish for sure. Cause I feel like it's just, it's just the game's like easy. It's really easy when you can do all this. Like this, I wouldn't be able to, basically I wouldn't be able to recover like that. <laughs> It wouldn't be possible the way my binds were before. Yeah, it's really easy to do that once you have the, the bind for it. Just this is the idea that it's just, it wasn't really possible because of how it was set up. Once I had a flip, it would accidentally miss with it. So I had to, every time it would be a flip into default error roll, which you can still get a good shot out of it. Like I've scored a lot of flippy sets doing that, but it's a lot, a lot easier to control and a lot more uh, threatening for sure like this. So there you guys can see some examples, what I mean. And then off the ceiling as well, same thing off the ceiling. You have a little bit more freedom. Um, again, I'm not like the most comfortable yet. So the fact that I'm even, um, you know, even attempting rank games is, is uh, probably a misplay out of me, but I've won almost every, I think I've only lost one rank game in three days on this. I think it also brings out the side of me, like when I was considered best player in the world, I was using free air roll only. So it brings out the side of me that uses free air roll for shots because I'm really good at shooting with free air roll. Like I would like to say I'm one of the best players in the world at shooting with free air roll. And uh, it brings that side of me out. And on top of that, I get to have like better control when I'm going for stuff with flip resets. So like that. it's just going to make me more complete in general, uh, I think. Like th this is something that just feels just a thousand times easier than before. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, this is just days of trying this, only days after years of a different bind. So breaking the muscle memory is gonna take a long time, but I think it's something that is just infinitely worth it. I, I think it's something that um, there's no limit to what you can do after you have that fixed, so. Something I should have done a while ago, but I've always just been a little bit scared. We have a little bit of a break from RLCS right now. The good thing is I know the air roll really well. Which is going to be like figuring out my hand placement is the hardest thing. Because my hand placement is a, little bit, a lot different now. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's just a matter of getting more comfortable. But I, I um, I'm very confident that uh, it's definitely the right, the right thing to do for sure. So yeah, give me... A little bit of time and uh, I'm very, very excited to see what I can cook up for you guys with this. Even in that game, like I had, I think the first game of this video, I had one opportunity off the wall. I got a flip and I got a really good opportunity to like, look like just crazy flicks, man. A uh, really good opportunity to get like a musty out of it. And stuff like that is really easy with this now. Just being weird, just like weird setups, unpredictable setups, right? I can go to the ceiling, fake this, land, use my my arrow, get a little flip, a lot of action, a lot of different things you can do with it. I don't know. It's it's gonna be very um, very fun for sure. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for always supporting the channel and. Uh, yeah, being along in this in this journey with me, and I hope that you guys actually like this kind of update video. Me, guys, me showing you like the kind of thing I'm trying to implement the early stages of it. So obviously, it's like it needs work, but once it's refined, I'm very very excited for the end result for sure. But yeah, it's gonna be all this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is. Watch this, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all.